Hey everybody, Dr. Schlater here. Unit 6, Lesson 12, Activity 12.3, Make 81. And we've just started looking at exponents and exponents that aren't the number 2 or the number 3. Here are some expressions, all but one of them equals 16. Find the one that is not equal to 16 and explain how you know. Well, I think the best thing to do is just work through all of these. What do these mean? So, 2 cubed. 2 cubed is... And 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And it's really helpful to remember that we are not adding these. So this is not 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That is not 8. So if you go from left to right, it's really helpful. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. So that one is 16. We got that. How about this one? 4 squared. So remember that when we square something, we say we want to multiply it times itself. So find the area of a square. 4 times 4 is 16. All right, what have we got here? Oh, you know what? I'm going to use my fraction tool for this, I think, my equation tool. And we're going to write um, parentheses 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Oops. Times 2 times 2, 5 of these, divide that by 2. All right, what is that equal to? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So this is 32 divided by 2. Ah, that is also 16. So I think we kind of know what's going on here. This last one better not be 16. Now, it's really tempting when you look at this to say, that's 16, because 2 times 8 is 16. But you got to remember what that stands for. When I see 8 squared, what I mean is 8 times 8. 8 times 8, 64. So I definitely want to be using the fact that this exponent means it's two things. Excuse me, that exponent means that I've got two copies of 8 times each other. So, which one is not equal to 16? We figured it out, and it's that one. Now, down below, it says write three expressions containing exponents so that each expression equals 81. I'm going to do one of these. you got to do two. So, But here's one that I can write down, and I'll use my expression tool. I can write down, let's make that larger. I can write down... 9, and then let's do that squared. 9 squared, because I think 9 times 9, and that's equal to 81. So there's one expression. There's three, so what you need to do is you need down two more expressions. So I've gotten you started. For your credit on this problem, you need to write down two more expressions that you've got that will be equal to 81 that use exponents. 